Now welcome back to part 2 of the Del Auto fine tuning video tutorial. In part 2 we will concentrate on JetTech Flowbench and how its features can further enhance your understanding of the power of JetTech Pro and how to modify JetTech Pro's internal software dynamics simulation model. First select a new database setting in this case we'll use 3. This is the Del Auto jetting setup recommendations for the VHSH30 as used by the Vortex Rock. As you can see it requires an idle emulsion tube combination of 45, a suggested starting main jet of 160, a 264 DP needle jet, the 40 slide, a K28 needle and 4 gram floats. So having established Del Auto's recommendation we then enter these parameters into the Carburetta configuration settings. Adjust the Venturi to 30 millimeters. Select the 45 idle jet combination. The needle jet, as you can remember, is a 264. The floats are 4 grams. Let's leave the float height at 6 millimeters, but of course this figure should be the figure you measure on your own carburetor. Starting at an international standard atmosphere of 15 degrees C, zero humidity and 1013 millibars, or in the case of imperial units, uh, these are the figures. Let's first dial down the jetting factor to reflect the recommended 160 main jet and as you can see the blue indicator bars move from right to left to indicate the change in main jet position. Now let's select the recommended needle which was the K28 and the K28 uses four clips. Of course, all of the needles from the hundreds within the Del Auto range are programmed into JetTech Pro. Now, open JetTech Flowbench and you will see that the needle jet and idle jet are greyed out and it is not possible to adjust these features. This is because the needle and idle jet change with their density has not been selected. So select uh, this change to enable these features. This is the starting setup recommended by Del Auto and using JetTech Flowbench if we press the higher button the software will simulate a cycle to a higher air density and as you can see the an error message has been displayed here in that, that tells you that the needle design has gone outside the selected range of four clips. Let's not worry about that for now. Reset and select lower. And again the software cycles to a lower air density indicated by this bar here and of course the idle jet, needle jet, main jet and needle clip move with this change in air density. Let's reset and first consider the recommended uh, setting here at P4. Perhaps we need to adjust this down to say P3 and check out again the uh, cycle to a higher air density. 
and if you remember last time we went out of the range of adjustment provided by the software and you will note that this time we stay inside the adjustment range and this is purely because we have changed the uh, needle jet factor we could however adjust the rate of change of the needle clip with air density independently of the main jet, idle jet and needle jet. By moving to the maximum negative position of minus 20 when we press higher and lower you will notice here uh, observing the indicator bar that the needle clip position does not change at all reset and cycle lower and the same effect is true the needle clip position remains unchanged now this of course is a radical move and perhaps were your tuner to suggest that you always leave the needle clip position selected as say P2 or P3 and purely tune on a change of needle jet then this adjustment may be what is required similarly were you to change to the maximum positive number then if you observe the main jet changes with air density as flow bench cycles higher and lower you will note that this figure the main jet indicated will change much more quickly than when adjusted to zero reset and let's cycle lower as you can see the main jet v changes very quickly with regard to a change in air density now I understand you may well be thinking how do I use this feature to maintain optimum air fuel ratio well the feature is designed to be used by an experienced tuner only or maybe the carter who has exhaust gas temperature and possibly lambda sensor information from their data log when you possess this type of detailed information that gives you feedback with regard to the air fuel ratio achieved by your carburetor you can then understand the adjustment requirement to further optimize Jet Tech Pro's internal software dynamic simulation model to perfectly match the fuel and airflow characteristics of your carburetor by adjusting individually these features within JetTech Flowbench you can fine tune your carburetor to simulate exactly the performance of your carburetor and in this way maintain optimum jetting power and torque from your engine under all racing condition having adjusted jet tech flow bench to suit your particular requirement to recall any of your setups you simply select them and of course on opening the software and selecting number three you would have the optimized settings that you have developed instantly recalled so you can simply enter the weather conditions whatever they may be and the optimum jetting you have established earlier using the data available to you or the experience of your engine tube is then locked into the software and can be used at any time in the future to simply deliver the maximum power and torque every time you use the software.